students today we are going to learn about some more disasters last class we have started the topic disaster management and uh, what is a disaster everything we have learned and let us see what is a disaster and we know that an event that causes a huge loss of lives and property is called a disaster everything we have learned the definitions everything we have learned in the last class and some uh, different types of disasters the, that is the natural disasters and man made disasters this also we have learned and hazards uh, that also a thing or a condition that might lead to a disaster is a hazard this topic also we have covered in the last class and see and the natural disasters floods earthquakes volcanic eruptions landslides all these are natural disasters and see some more natural disasters today we are going to learn about earthquake let us see some points related with earthquakes see and natural disasters that is earthquakes as we know the earth's lithosphere is made up of a number of interlocking plates see the earth's lithosphere is made up of a number of interlocking plates and these plates end or move or slip against each other see these plates tend to move or slip against each other and see then these plates produce a vibration in the earth's crust means these plates produce a vibration in the earth's crust and this sudden shaking of the earth is called an earthquake or the sudden shaking of the earth is called an earthquake and see volcanic eruptions some type of or volcanic eruptions may also cause earthquakes different reasons are there for the occurrence of earthquakes volcanic eruption also cause earthquake and see earthquakes occur without any warning you know that earthquakes are usually occurring without any warning and we don't know which time the earthquakes may occur without any warning or any prior uh, signs the uh, earthquakes are occurring which increases so because of this or without any warning all this occurs so uh, this causes the loss of life and property then earthquakes can cause buildings and other structures to collapse we are hearing news and all sometimes we are seeing such collapse also means the effects or the results of earthquake that is to vast sometimes the buildings may be collapsing and thousands of people are losing their lives and see floods landslides all these things are followed by earthquake and see and sometimes tsunamis are also occurring because of this earthquakes and see each of these is capable of causing extensive damage means whatever may be all these um, uh, things 
cause extensive damage. Sometimes um, the lives many are losing their lives, their property, everything. Yes, is losing. And in December, we know that in December 2004, an earthquake on the floor of the Indian Ocean generated tsunamis that killed thousands of people in Indonesia, then India, then Sri Lanka and Thailand. You might have heard about all these things. Means all such types of earthquakes also happened earlier means in 2004 and you might have heard about all these things it occurred in or it affected the people of Indonesia, the India, Sri Lanka and Thailand. These countries people suffered a lot in 2004 and see most Deaths in an earthquake are due to the collapse of buildings. Because of the collapse of buildings, most deaths in earthquakes are happening. And the loss of life is greater when, uh, when an earthquake occurs at night. Or if the earthquake occurs at night, the death rate also sometimes may be high. Because people have no time to escape or uh, because of the darkness people have or they may not be able to escape from the particular area and see and, and most people may be sleeping and to reduce damage and loss of life many countries including our uh, India have rules for constructing quake resistant buildings means nowadays uh, there are rules for making quake uh, resistant buildings means if such buildings are that much uh, if earthquakes are occurring then that much problem may not be there or such buildings may not be affected by the earthquake if quake resistant buildings are there and Again, see, most earthquakes occur near the margins of the lithospheric plates. It means most of the earthquakes occurring the margins of the lithospheric plates. And in see, in our India, the foothills of the Himalayas and the Ganga Brahmutra basin are major earthquake prone zones. It means these two are the major earthquake prones in our India that is the foothills of the Himalayas and the Ganga Brahmaputra basin. These two are the major earthquake prones in our India. And see there have been earthquakes in other parts of India it means there have been earthquakes in other parts of India too. We are hearing the news and all every day. And the earthquakes that struck Maharashtra and Gujarat in 1993. You might have heard about this earthquake. It means the, um, the one earthquake occurred in Maharashtra and Gujarat in 1993. That what happened uh, and, it, uh, and in 2001 also 1993 and in 2001 uh, means this took many human lives and caused great devastation because of the earthquake happened in um, 1993 and 2001 too many human lives and caused a great devastation. Many were killed because of this earthquake and it caused a great devastation also. And again, means measuring earthquakes and again see the point means the earth's surface where the vibrations of an earthquake begin is called seismic focus means how to measure the earthquakes and see the point on the earth's surface directly 
above the focus is called the epicenter see seismic focus and the epicenter usually the epicenter suffers the maximum destruction if the point where the epicenter that suffers the maximum destruction because of the earthquake and see again the instrument used for recording and measuring the vibrations of an earthquake is called a seismograph means the uh, instrument used for the measuring of earthquake is called seismograph and again see the magnitude of and earthquake depends on the energy released see the magnitude of an earthquake depends on the energy released again see it is measured usually from 0 to 10 means the earthquake is measured usually from 0 to 10 and on a scale called the richter scale all these things you know means the instrument used to measure the earthquake that is richter scale and consecutive fault numbers on this scale represent about 30 times increase in energy released during the earthquake means again the instrument that is used to measure the um, uh, density of earthquake that is called seismograph okay these are some of the things related with earthquake and the remaining topic that we can learn in the next class okay thank you all of you